Hello everybody, Caden here today with an episode of Wildlife Park and today uh, we're taking a quick detour back to the uh, jungle exhibit area or the rainforest area I guess and we're building a sloth exhibit because sloths are adorable and I wanted to build the exhibit for it. Also, mostly because it was a unique thing and I got to try a different type of exhibit with it. Uh, kind of like the beaver last episode was a different kind of build. We got to do something new here. Um, so, uh, and I think I mentioned this uh, at the end of the episode as well. I didn't really know what a sloth exhibit looked like because uh, I've seen only one sloth build, or sloth build, sloth exhibit in my life at uh, an aquarium of all places. And that didn't really give me a good overall idea of how they were made. So yeah, this was just kind of, I, I, well, I had to look, I did a bit of research beforehand and this is something I found, or this is a design that I kind of found and I really liked the look of, so I decided to go with this. Basically, it's um, it's like a rectangle with a, well, I guess a roof, like a sloped roof on either end. Kind of, It basically is like a mini barn with a uh, wire mesh instead of proper walls, but I, I liked how this looked. It had a very interesting and unique character to it, and I thought it was a lot of fun to build, and can be is a little bit of fun to look at, too. And I think this could definitely be the impetus for uh, some future project ideas that I have going on in the old noggin of mine. Um, but anyway, yeah, so uh, I'm doing my usual combo spruce and uh, oak because I feel like they go together really well. The colors are very similar, so it kind of kind of works well overall for construction, in my opinion. Uh, I do go through several design ideas with this uh, thing overall and trying to figure out how it's supposed to get put together. Uh, cause, I don't know, I don't usually build buildings like this, and I don't usually do stuff like this, so it's kinda, it was kinda fun. A bit interesting to try and do an exhibit like this. And once again, talking about the Dino series, this is definitely something I could do for the Confucius Soreness, I think. Uh, this, I think this type of build would work perfectly for them. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm placing in a bunch of slabs, uh, I think those are the same wire mesh half slabs we used, uh, for the Eagle exhibit. Um, also, you'll see I destroyed one of the slabs um, for the roof support and just put a full like uh, mesh pane there. I do change that later, uh, switch it out for uh, block because I thought it looked a bit better. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's not even really a big thing. It's just something that I ended up changing. It didn't really change too much the overall build. Um, as for the inside of the build, I was really disappointed because, uh, you know, there's a lot of things I really like about doing stuff like this in Minecraft. Uh, there's a lot of freedom and creative choices you get to make that uh, you wouldn't necessarily get to make if you were playing other games. However, it does have the problem sometimes of there's certain things other games will easily allow you to do that this game can't let you do. And one of those is climbing frames, much like the chimpanzee exhibit. I would have loved to use lots of climbing frames, but there really wasn't a way to adequately do that without it being wildly out of scale and kind of weird looking. Uh, so I just went for some small trees in here instead, as you'll see in a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, other than that, this is the full structure. I really like it. It has a lot of, uh, I think it has a lot of nice, unique character and quite a fan of it, in my opinion. Um, we're doing some basic terrain, uh, floor changing. Uh, I mean, this wasn't like a super complex build or anything. It was just, I don't know, it was something different and unique. So I like it quite a lot. Um, yeah, I like it quite a lot. And plus the ground cover, the ground wasn't necessarily the most important part of the exhibit. Uh, oh, also this, since I did an update Zawa, uh, we have these cool little bamboo fences, which I used as little like climbing poles. Thought it looked pretty cool. Um, and here you can see me putting in some logs. I would have, I, I had originally thought of connecting these with uh, fences to kind of create climbing platforms. Uh, but I don't know, it just, it, I started trying to put it together and I just didn't really think it was gonna look good. So I decided to just go against it. Cause I, I don't know, I felt like if I couldn't get a convincing looking climbing platform system going, I wasn't gonna bother with it. I guess that sounds a bit defeatist, but yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, just making some small trees here, throwing in some random plants, and yeah, I think I think the exhibit overall holds together quite well. Maybe I could have added in one more tree uh, somewhere else, or maybe another log system, or maybe just remove the leaves from the trees. Maybe just have logs. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, other than that, I think I think this exhibit turned out really really well. Oh, oh I'm guessing considering the lighting's bugged there, I must be inside a block. Uh, that's funny. Um, but yeah, anyway. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else to say, so I'll catch back up with you guys at the end of the episode.
Alright guys, and we're back, and yeah, this is the final version of the Sloth exhibit. I really, really like it. I think it turned out really well. Um, it's a unique little thing, quite a, got quite a little bit of interest to it, stands out a lot compared to most of the stuff we've built, and I think it's definitely set a template for what I want to do uh, concerning, I guess, exhibits like this, which doesn't make a lot of sense when I say it like that. Uh, but we have various monkey, small monkeys we're going to have to add in at some point. And I think this is the exhibit I'm going to do with uh, those animals. I think it'll look cool to have them all in something akin to this. And I think it can be set up in a modular system quite easily. So I think that'll be nice. Because, um, yeah, I don't think it would be too hard uh, to make like a corner bit and then here and then bring it up again here. So we have like this little area just full of small climbing animals type thing. But yeah, anyway, other than that, I really like this exhibit and it was really... This one's interesting because I had no idea what to do for it. Uh, I don't really know what sloth exhibits look like, mostly because I've only ever seen one. It was a small indoor enclosure uh, with no fences. Really. Well, I had a wall to keep the sloth from, like, crawling out, but, you know, like, it, it wasn't really like this. Um, so I had to do a lot of online research, and I think I found this one, which was from some zoo here in the States. I, I don't really know which one. Uh, but it looked similar to this, and I really liked the idea. I will say one thing, one limitation Minecraft has that really annoyed me while building this is almost every single exhibit I saw, uh, they would have tons of, like, climbing materials. So, like, maybe, like, a big log in the middle and then lots of branches interconnected between each log, spanning the entire like width of the exhibit uh, to give the sloths tons of places to hang and climb and stuff like that. And you can't do that in this game effectively at this scale. It, it kind of sucks, which is, but it's, it's unfortunate, but whatever, you know, we will persevere, we'll carry on. Also, can we just take a second to like look at these guys and how cute they are. Like, oh my goodness, these sloths are, Adorable. I love them to bits. They're amazing. Um, so yeah, I couldn't quite do the climbing frames I'd like to. I would have liked to do, which is a bit unfortunate. But at the end of the day, it's okay. You know, we we'll make do. And yeah, but I, I think it's a good addition to the zoo. It's got a unique feel to it. It does kind of have that kind of climbing thing I was going for. I think this could easily pass as a sloth enclosure. Uh, I mean, I could have made it taller, I think, but I also didn't want it to become like the eagle enclosure and just be this massive monolith at the very back of the zoo. I kind of just wanted, you know, something small that would work. Granted, I think it probably would need to be taller to be a proper sloth exhibit, but whatever, you know, I think it, I think it's overall kind of good because these guys don't climb trees like regular sloths do and they don't hang upside down, at least as far as I've, I've found in my testing with them. Which is a bit unfortunate, but still really cool. Um, it's got the same kind of jungle decorations we've been doing, obviously, because, you know, that's uh, that's what we do here. We, we we find something that works and we we keep copy-pasting it until uh, it doesn't work anymore. Wow, my throat there. Um, yeah, okay, anyway, I wanted to say something real quick, and that was um, we've been talking about a couple of buildings for a while, namely a reptile house and an aquarium. Aquarium, I believe, and I was thinking more with this with the reptile house, uh, but people keep asking for it. People keep wanting me to do a reptile house of some sort, and I don't think I'm going to set this for this video. It'll probably be another video at some point, but I, I don't know. Part of me is feeling like I'm going to set a like goal for me doing a bug, uh, not a bug house, a uh, reptile house, mostly because I'd probably try and do it in one video. And that's, you know, that's that's going to be a big project. I mean, that'll probably uh, be a couple hours of building and recording uh, and then editing the time lapse and then editing the video, doing the voiceover and all that stuff. So even if it's two videos, you know, like, it's still tons and tons of work going into that to get uh, it produced. So uh, let me know what you guys think of that idea, I guess. Also, let me know what you think of the sloth exhibit. And if you guys could change anything, what would it be? Um, I would like to add more climbing frames, but again, there really isn't a way for me to do that, unfortunately. Anyway, other than that, I don't really think I have much else to say, so thank you guys all for watching, I hope you've all enjoyed, and until next time, guys, see ya.